As with all of these exercises, we begin by simply sitting, relaxing the body with the spine upright. We can sit on the floor, as shown in the video, or we can sit in a chair. Allow your breath to become anchored and sunk and allow whatever qualities you've developed to appear within your body. Your mind should soak through the body like water into a sponge so that you're applying your awareness, your attention to the whole of your body's form. Simply sit like this and allow the body to breathe and allow it to settle into our practice. After sitting for a few minutes, we're going to stir the chi to wake it up. So as with the other sequences, the palms face each other and we interchange them from side to side, twisting the trunk of the body. The top hand is at the height of the throat. The lower hand is beneath the lower dantian at the base of the abdomen. Turning the trunk, listening inside the torso, and switching the hands while Lao Gong faces Lao Gong will help to mobilize the Qi inside the body to get it ready for the rest of our sequence.
Now we're going to bring the hands up to the height of the center of the body level with a solar plexus. Essentially, this means the forearms will be placed completely horizontal. And the Lao Gong points the center of our palms are facing in towards the solar plexus. The palms are lightly stretched just to help open Lao Gong and the mind comes into the area that the palms are looking at. Be gentle with your intention, not strong. Simply listen to the solar plexus area and allow the chi to start to gather in this area. Within Chinese medical theory, this area is called the central granary or sometimes the central stomach. It is the earth region of the body, elementally, and the place that governs the qi of the element of earth and the qi of the digestive system. Now we're going to bring the hands in towards the solar plexus, towards the yellow cord region of the body. We place the palms touching each other and then these palms are resting on the body. Do not worry about which hand is on top, left or right does not depend upon your gender or anything like this like you often read. Simply place whichever hand is most comfortable and feels most natural on the outside. Ensure that the Lao Gong, the central point of the palm, is over Lao Gong of the palm underneath and this is on top of the solar plexus yellow cord region. Bring your mind into the space underneath the palms, but do not use a strong intention as this will stagnate the chi. Very, very casual with your mind as if you're only half interested. And then listen to this area of the body while you breathe and relax and stay comfortable. This will harmonize the earth element.
Now we're going to bring the hands out further from the body and we're going to open and close them. So in this case, Lao Gong is facing towards the solar plexus as before. And we're going to breathe in and open the center of the body and breathe out and close the center of the body. So the idea is that it's the solar plexus, the yellow cord that is opening and closing rather than the hands that are moving. If you're watching the video, you will see that my shoulders and my elbows are not doing a great deal. It is more like I'm stretching open from the inside, not the surface. I'm just pumping the solar plexus region, but deep inside the center of the body. Some people like to slow it down and coordinate it with the breath. Some people like to do it a little speedier as I am showing here. It does not matter. With time, you will feel that the chi starts to move from the solar plexus out into the rest of the body. It will even start to spread into the hands. This will help to lead the chi from this area out to the extremities. Now we're going to bring the hands down to the knees and we're going to turn the hands inwards a little bit so the elbows are projected out. Then we're going to twist the body from side to side. But the twist is not a spinal twist. The twist is done from the center of the body, from the earth region. So the spine will turn, but it is not the origin of the movement. It is simply turning as a byproduct of the exercise. It is as if there is a pivot point in the center of the body, deep inside, between the spine and the surface of the body where the solar plexus is. We breathe in a nice relaxed fashion, listening to the solar plexus region as we twist our body from side to side. This serves to twist and wring out the earth element region, as well as strengthening the diaphragm and twisting the spleen and the stomach channels. This is a very powerful movement to do for the digestive system and the earth element. If you wish to make it a little stronger, you may even lift your rib cage up away from the pelvis a tiny bit so that the lower spine is stretched. When I lift the ribs away from the pelvis like this and hold the body stretched, this will open up the abdominal space and stretch all of the tissues and the intestines. This will create a much more powerful impact upon the digestive energies of the body.
Now, as with the other exercises, we have a special mudra. But for the earth element, we seal the hands with the thumb within the center of our fist. It's like we're making a very light fist around our thumb. So the thumb is resting on Lao Gong. And then we place the fists on our knees with the tops of the hands facing upwards. It's a very relaxed and comfortable position. And when I make this mudra, this is also stimulating for the earth element. It warms the digestive fires and nourishes the spleen and the stomach. I don't need to focus on the hand shape once I've made it. I simply allow my mind to soak through the body as you did at the start of the exercise and the mudra will do its work for you. Simply pay attention to the body and allow it to breathe. After our practice, we return to resting the hands upon the knees. Allow your mind to soak through the whole of the body and let the work from your practice carry on. You probably noticed that almost the entire of the sequence was focused upon that one area, the solar plexus, the yellow cord. This is because this is the most important point for governing the earth element within our system. So we've worked this point in many ways. We have focused on it, we've listened to it, we've rested our hands on it, we've twisted it. Now we allow the chi from this area to do as it wishes. So do not get involved anymore. Simply pay attention to the body, soak your mind through the tissues like water into a sponge and relax and remain comfortable for a few minutes.
We then close down our practice in the usual way by rubbing the hands to stimulate the chi on the surface of the palms and massaging the kidneys strongly three times, rub up and down with the palms. Then once we've massaged the kidneys three times, we change to uh, our face. So we rub the hands and we rest them over the eyes for a second before we then run the palms over the temples, behind the ears and down the neck, just to ensure that no chi is stuck in the head or, or raising upwards. <laughs> 